Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing something a little different. I have the Karen subscription box and I ordered this because I've been seeing so many Facebook ads and just ads everywhere promoting this and basically what it is it's a outdoor subscription box where they send you a couple random things a month. I got the six month subscription and this is box number one. I got this a couple days ago so I got this in October um, and I just want to do an unboxing and show you guys what is in these types of boxes to find out is it worth it or these things actually usable while out hiking and backpacking and I just want to expand my backpacking gear because I have my setup and I really love my setup but maybe there's something that I don't know about that maybe I could use so when I got the six month subscription, it was an upfront cost of $169.50, which comes out to $28.25 per box. But I actually had a coupon code, which included a free Cotopaxi backpack as like a bonus sign up offer. All right, as of now, they're not doing the free Cotopaxi backpacks anymore since they ran out, but now the sign up bonus gift is a fanny pack from Gregory. So it seems like these free gifts change periodically, but I think the coupon code is always welcome. So try that out and you might get a free gift. So this is the backpack. And this is the main reason why I got this subscription box um, because I love this backpack. I've seen them everywhere. And this is a $75 backpack. So I feel like it's worth it. I spend a lot of money on backpacks anyways. So if I can get this backpack and six subscription boxes for the $170, I just thought it was fun. And I love the colors. These packs are always random colors. They're all unique. They're all one of a kind. And I think I'm gonna take this out for the first time today and do a little hike with it. All right, so now to the box. It's little, I thought it was gonna be bigger, um, but I guess we're getting little outdoor gear today. All right, so you can see it's all wrapped up nice. It says, get outside, feel good inside. Um, looks like they included a little newspaper, um, a little bit about what's inside. So I'm gonna look. All right, looks like the main thing in here is a solar portable light, um, rechargeable via solar or USB. I definitely don't have this. I think the brand is Lucy. It's 40 lumens. Um, maybe we should open it. Interest, oh, so you has this little thing so it looks like you can hang it anywhere and it's just a light um it's pretty neat and i'm gonna try for all six of these subscription boxes i'm gonna try to take everything i get out hiking and use it at least once so i can give it a fair shot um see i have a scale if we want to see how much this weighs it weighs 0.3 pounds all right, I do have a backpacking trip planned later this month, just a one night trip, and I'm not going ultra light for it. I'm not going lightweight or anything, so maybe I can take this then. Neat. All right, see if something else in here. Have a bar, an RX bar. Um, I've actually never had one of these bars before. The flavor is banana, chocolate, walnut. Um, I think they're supposed to be healthy, just, I think it's one of the brands that's like, we only include ingredients that you can pronounce, and it lists the exact ingredients on the front. So, real foods, yeah, it says no BS on the front, so I'll try that out next time I'm hiking. And then there's one more thing, and this is a really fancy carabiner. <laughs> Um, the Fire Escape, rated for 125 pounds from Outdoor Element. What can it do? It can make fire. Everspark Fire Wheel. Throw sparks, make fire. 
utility blade that can cut seat belts. It's a window breaker, a wrench, a bottle opener. So it's like multi-use. I can have a carabiner and I can have an emergency fire starter, which I don't know because I usually carry a lighter with me anyways, but maybe this would be just good to keep in my backpack or even in my car because it's got that seatbelt thing. It's very interesting. <laughs> so definitely not something I have. All right. So yeah, just the three things in the box. Um, for some reason, I thought it, there were going to be more, but that's okay. The box is only $28 and I got the free backpack. So now I'm just going to go over, is it worth it? Um, I want to add up how much this stuff costs if I go and buy them on their own and see if I'm getting a good deal by doing the Karen subscription box. Okay, so I got the price for these three things. The Lucy Portable Light, if you go and buy it by itself online, it's $18. This, which I was actually really surprised, you can get it online for $25. And then this bar is a dollar fifty ish. Plus, if you add in the cost of this, um, over the six months, about $12 per month. So <laughs> I have about $56 and 50 cents worth of stuff this month that I paid $28 for. So I guess it is a good deal. I'm surprised with how much these were actually worth. All right, that's gonna conclude it. This is just box one of six. I don't know if I'm gonna put the other five boxes on YouTube. Maybe I'll do something quick on Instagram. So make sure you follow me at nahampshire.hiker and maybe I'll post it there. I do have links to the Karen box in the description. They did not sponsor this video. They don't know I'm making it. So that's there for you if you're interested. I think it's cool. It's kind of like Christmas. <laughs> like I'm just gifting myself things. Like I bought it, but I didn't know what I was getting. So that's a cool feeling. So thanks for watching this review. I think I'm gonna go for a hike. <laughs> oh my God, I, j I just took this little carabiner thing out of the package to try it out. And this is sick, look. Alright, I think I made the decision like one minute ago to go hike Eagle Cliff. Um, definitely going to take this pack. It's probably very big for what I'm doing, but I'm just excited. I love backpacks. So I'm going to pack this up and head out there. It might rain, it might not. It's kind of cloudy, but whatever. I have good rain gear. See how it goes. Alright, this is my binder. This is where I keep track of all my hikes. Um, I got this packet when I ordered maps off lrct.org. They have so many trails around the lakes region, and this patch will bring you along a lot of them. So I really like this. You can be a member of the LRCT for $35, and then once you finish the list, you can pay $7.50 and get your patch for finishing. So this is what I'm working on. I'm going to do Eagle Cliff. There's about 20 trails. And then that's how many I have left. I did have to stop in Family Dollar to pick up a dog leash because I always seem to leave the house without one. Callie always hops in the car without a leash, so I always forget to grab it on my way out. So hopefully this one I'll just keep in here. All right, I'm at the trailhead for Eagle Cliff. And that's Squam Lake. And we still got some foliage going on. I guess we have two ways to choose from, ledges or the bypass. 
I guess Kelly wants the bypass. I kind of want the ledges. Getting a view. That's a really cool lookout, but we're still not at the actual summit. So my first two videos in October, um, I did leaf peeping trips to the White Mountains, but this is right here where I live in the lakes region. And honestly, I think this is better than what the mount what the white mountains were like when I went there so you don't have to go far to get good views all right I think this is the top of Eagle Cliff initial thoughts of this new backpack it's weird not having pockets in the front or like the hip belt but something I really like about it is these um, side pockets are so much easier to get to than all my other backpacks. Like, I keep my phone in here and like you're not straining yourself to get to it. So that's my favorite part about this. But I just, honestly, I just like the colors. We're gonna go down. So we came up by taking the ledges. I think we're gonna go down the bypass because it'll be easier for Callie. She's a little out of breath. We passed one couple coming up the trail and their dog, but that's it. We saw two people and I know this is a really popular trail. So maybe people are afraid because it's cloudy, it might rain, but yeah, we had the summit and most of the trail to ourselves. I got asked in my last video if I had trouble walking the trails because of all the leaves and it being slippery. And the answer is yes. Um, I'm on the ground. I fell. Yeah. I just want to get back down. All right, I'm definitely doing the bypass this time. Playing it safe. All right, just about back at the car and managed to get back without getting rained on. There were a couple of raindrops at the top and on the way down, but it held off. <laughs> we are that close to the end of the trail and you just found your mud puddle. Well, that's clean water for the most part. There were about four cars here when I got here. But I must have missed everyone because I only saw one other couple on the trail. All right, back in the car. This is where the video is going to end. And this is where I'm going to tell you to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. If you like New Hampshire hiking, if you like backpacking in general, if you just want to see New Hampshire, if you want to see my upcoming through hikes, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it. And I'm going to end the video testing this bar.
because I've never had one and I just got it in the subscription box today. So let's try it out. This is what it looks like. It's like chewy, but hard to chew and just tastes like a banana. I'll eat it. It's fine because it's healthy, but I don't think I'm ever going to go to the store and pick these out. All right, time to go home. I'll see you in the next video.